Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi, and today's video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me, give a little rundown of the topics. We're going to be talking about hair typing once again because people seem to think that various things. We're going to be talking about TI and Tiny. I will definitely put some trigger warnings before I get into that discussion. And we're also going to be talking about people eating Nigerian food on the internet and acting like buffoons. So I'm just going to dive right in. No need for long talking. As you guys know, the products will be listed down below in the description box, whatever I'm using, and let's just dive in. So first topic of discussion is going to be this whole hair typing thing. I mentioned a few times on the internet why I hair type, um, ooh, why I hair type and stuff like that. But whenever I do a reaction video, the Sky Jackson one specifically, or if I just talk about somebody just seemingly not having hair that looks like mine, which I do consider my hair to be 4C hair. I've seen people that have hair that is coarser than mine, so I do think that I also have some 4B ringlets throughout my hair, but that's another topic, you know. Also, I title my videos, you know, 4C or type 4 hair just to simply help people find my content. So if you are looking for a product review or anything like that, you can find my video because I put my hair type in the video. If I wasn't on YouTube, I wouldn't be talking about hair typing, I wouldn't care about hair typing, and it wouldn't be a major part of my life at all. Which if you are someone that is trying to learn your hair and do your hair, I wouldn't make hair typing a major part of my hair care routine or importance but when finding people that look like you it is helpful and that's just my opinion on the situation so in my sky jackson video i said that i didn't think that her hair was 4c which i still don't think so i don't think her hair is as coarse as mine or people that have hair coarser than i do i know that hair typing refers to the actual coil or the actual shape of the curl and I'm not going to get into that either, <laughs> but in my opinion, she doesn't have 4C hair. Something wrong with that. Who really cares? So people were commenting how hair typing should be dead. It's divisive and a million different things. And how if she says she has 4C hair, then she has 4C hair, which I don't really get that. I don't get how <laughs> just because I say I have something, then that means that I am it. Like, Rachel Dolezal, hello. Like, y'all was really mad. We were really mad about Rachel Dolezal lying about being black. Therefore, why? Like, obviously, it's different. But I'm just saying, I am whatever I say I am is not how the world works. Just my opinion. So, I personally hair type, like I said, but to help people find my videos. But also because I think that a lot of people mainly black women will go natural and try to learn their hair and then they will be distraught because people on YouTube will say, oh, I have 4C hair and look what my hair did. Meanwhile, they don't have 4C hair and their hair reacted differently to that product. Therefore, I think it's very harmful because people will then feel like, man, my hair is, something's wrong with my hair. My hair is not doing what it's supposed to be doing because so-and-so has 4C hair and they were able to achieve XYZ with that product or just because they tried a different technique than I did or whatever the case is. So, that's why I hair type. That's why I do still think that hair typing can be helpful. Is it the end all be all? Is it that important? Was it going to change your life in the natural hair game? Absolutely not. I don't think so in any way, shape or form. But I do think that telling people that they're overreacting or who cares is a little bit, that's dramatic on your part. Because if I want to say that she doesn't resemble hair that looks like mine or people that I also follow that have 4C hair, why is that a problem? I don't know. I, I really don't know. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about hair typing. Um, are you big on hair typing? Are you not big on hair typing? Like I mentioned before, I really don't care <laughs> about people's hair type, but I just think it's helpful when it comes to internet hair care and just talking about hair care on the internet. I do think that it's helpful to talk about hair type. Now, if you're trying to get an ultimate, you know, hair care routine, Knowing your hair type isn't going to help that much, 
all it's going to do is help you to find, in my opinion, people that look like you and do routines and figure out what works for your hair through them, which is why, again, I do it. I also think that people are ignorant and don't see other women that do YouTube or Instagram or TikTok videos and show their hair care because for you to look at someone like Sky Jackson's hair texture or someone like Natural 85's hair texture, for example, and think that they have 4C hair, that means you haven't seen people that look like me or other women and men on the internet or in your families <laughs> that hair is just not the same. It just does not perform the same when wet, all of those things. Now, I'm nobody's stylist. I never act like one or claim to be. So take that up with yourself, you know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. Again, hair typing isn't that serious or that important, but for the sake of conversation and being helpful, I do think it's worth talking about when discussing hair products or hair routines, um, especially in this space where you can't really touch my hair or see how it performs on a regular basis. You're just watching videos and I'm talking. Therefore, me talking about my hair texture can be helpful. Let me know if that makes sense to you guys in the comment section. Just wanted to touch on that a little bit. Even though people that have been commenting and getting aggressive with me <laughs> about that video with Sky Jackson, um, they won't watch this video, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted you to say it out loud <laughs> and make my stance clear. Of course, hair typing does not really matter in the grand scheme of things, but I do think it's an important discussion topic if you're trying to learn your hair or get products or just figure out what the hell to do when it comes to your hair care. Next topic is going to be the internet because why not? This is a fun girl chat, chit chat. No need to keep it, you know, um, strictly hair because this kind of gets boring after a while. So I am not a huge TikTok person. I don't watch a bunch of TikToks at all, but I did see the trend of people eating Nigerian food um, on YouTube in mukbangs and um, on you know on my on my feeds. I've been seeing it, whatever. And Nigerian people have been expressing their distaste <laughs> and truly hatred of this trend. It's offensive, you know. It is offensive. That's just that. Um, and they have been talking about it, you know, on their platforms, like don't treat our food like a joke. Don't treat our food like a joke. And recently, <laughs> um, a big YouTuber, Aaliyah J did a video and it was really, really negatively received. Okay. I'm not going to go into the video. I'm sure if you kind of like have been on Twitter, maybe, I don't know if you know or not, People was pissed, mainly people that are Nigerian or from other African countries were like offended by the video, which in my opinion is rightfully so. I'm not going to really go into that because I feel like if you saw it, you saw it, didn't, you didn't, it doesn't really matter. But, and you might say, oh, who cares? You don't have to like everything. If I don't like Nigerian food or if I don't like... Jamaican food, because my family is Jamaican, and if I watched a video of someone eating curry goat and just dis being being disrespectful towards it, I'd be like, y'all are dragging it. Like, you don't have to eat curry goat. Like, why are you doing this? <laughs> and that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So I understand the outrage, and I don't think people are over exaggerating. You know, I'm not going to get into the diaspora wars and people then going ahead and using this occasion to be disrespectful towards Nigerians or African Americans as a whole because these YouTubers and these TikTokers do not represent all African Americans, which I think should be common sense, but that's a whole different conversation. But I don't know, I just feel like people lack um, common sense when it comes to these types of situations because if you walked into a Nigerian restaurant and ate their food and spit it out and said it was disgusting and said what the hell who made this and all the type of stuff and how it's so nasty you would not do that you would not walk into a Nigerian restaurant and sit down and act that way so please tell me why is it okay to do that on the internet 
I don't know. When I make videos, I make a huge point to never disrespect someone or their culture or their desires or the way they live their life, all that kind of stuff. So to make a video like that on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram, wherever, acting like Nigerian food or any type of food, whether that be Asian food, people do it with all types of things. I don't really understand the hype around it. I don't understand why watching someone try another, try food is entertaining. You know what I'm saying? But that's not really my type of content. So it's not meant for me to understand. But I do see how it's offensive and I can definitely see, you know, like I said before, how people could be mad about it. Now, again, dragging every single African-American because a few African-Americans made these videos or are clout chasing and trying to get views on their channel isn't really fair. And it, I feel like for me, that's your prejudices coming out and speaking for you. You know what I'm saying? And as someone who is first generation American, and I do have so many African American friends, as well as an entire Jamaican family, <laughs> it is very clear for me to see the divide that has been made between the diaspora, you know what I'm saying? And I never truly understood it, like why it was like that, but it's very, very clear. So I just was like, don't do that. Don't, don't eat someone's native dish and diss it. Just don't do it. And that's just my personal opinion. You might feel like, oh, she has a right to make her own videos and things on the internet. You might feel that way. I don't. There's no amount of views that would make me try somebody or disrespect somebody on the internet. Now, once again, it's not about only Aaliyah J or only, it's about the whole trend, in my opinion, being rude. And I think that people get rowdy and do extra stuff on the camera because that type of stuff leads to engagement and views and traction and that's a whole different topic people love to watch <laughs> negative types of videos so that's why these people are acting negatively on a screen you know it's a part of the whole process anywho last topic of discussion for today's video is going to be about ti and tiny so this is going to be definitely a trigger warning if you don't want to talk or hear about sexual assault or anything like that um, in that realm. Just go ahead and exit out. I love you. Have a great day. Have a happy Sunday. Um, but if you want to talk about it or just hear my dialogue on it, let's get into it. So I'm going to talk to you guys like how I talk to my friends because y'all are like my internet family. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've never been sexually assaulted. I'm not speaking from a place of experience. But I think that we all should have a level of compassion and understanding when talking about these topics because you never know who has been assaulted. You never know what people have gone through in their lives. And I find that the combos on the internet this past week have been disgusting and super judgmental. And people, even people that have experienced sexual assault get on the internet and act as if they act wild and disrespectful and I just don't understand it. So I guess a little summary if you maybe haven't heard about this. Um, people have been speaking out and sharing their stories about T.I. and Tiny either sexually assaulting them or raping them or coercing them into sex you know just various different things making them take drugs some by some people claimed that they were physically abused like hit or slapped some people claimed that they were underage not most of them but like two people i believe or one person claimed they were underage and these stories are all alleged stories we already know that and i really just want to talk about the way the internet reacts every time and i do mean every single time something like this happens the black community especially you know, we love to say, oh, T.I. would never do that. Oh, Tiny would never do that. Oh, I love this person. They would never. 98%, maybe 95% of us have never met these people. And even if we had met them, it also would mean nothing. Even if we knew them personally, it also would mean nothing. How many serial killers and rapists and people that have caused great harm to various groups of people have had families and friends and people that love them almost every single one 
let's not act like it's impossible for someone that has status or money or success or a family that that means that they cannot commit a crime <laughs> especially a crime of this nature where it's not unbelievable to me by far i'm not here to debate whether or not these women's stories are true because i don't know i was not there and neither were anybody else unless you were so to act as if you know in your heart of hearts and this would never happen because you love ti you love da -da -da -da, and you watch their reality show that means that they could not have done these acts i think it's just intellectually dishonest uh, as someone, and this is how I live my life, I also feel like you never know, and I truly do mean never know, what people are doing in their private lives. And that's just my take on it. You do not know what your friends, what your families, whomever, people that you love and that you trust, and this is me as well, you don't know what they are doing in their private lives. Y'all watch my videos every week. You know what I'm saying? You might talk to me in the DMs. You might have conversations. You don't know what I'm doing in my bedroom. So why do you think <laughs> that you know, and it's not to y'all, but just in general, what T.I. and Tiny are doing in their bedrooms? Like, why are we so confident that they would never do that? I'm just confused. Also, people love to talk about women lying about sexual assault. The numbers and statistics are out there. If you want to look them up, I'm not nobody's Google. The numbers are out there for the amount of women that have been proven to be lying about sexual assault. People don't want to talk about these topics. People don't want to say I've been assaulted. So the idea to go as far and lie about it and then do all these extra stuff, the numbers <laughs> are very, very low. Especially when you have 30 women saying, this happened to me, you know? And all the stories are extremely similar. Now, I understand that the person that's doing the outing may not be a trustworthy source. I get all of the nuances and all of the questions that one might have surrounding this case. And I'm not here to vilify anybody, although I do believe these women because I tend to always believe women that's just my personal how I live my life so you know people were saying so I was in the clubhouse chat so why I'm doing this video is I was in the clubhouse chat a few nights ago when the store kind of broke or whatever and people were saying outlandish things <laughs> and I do mean outlandish things talking about oh he's a family man okay um he could have anybody he wants Okay, um, like just so many things. People want clout. People want clout. Okay, as someone that is on the internet that makes money off the internet, okay, clout does not work that way. If somebody shares a story that I told, that I DM to them, and does not share my name, and does not share my at, there is no clout coming from that post. Nobody has said. This is my at name. This is who I am. This is my story. It's one person that's posting these things. Again, I understand that um, she's not a credible source. I'm not here to debate that. I don't really even care about that. I do feel that everyone can't be lying. People love to say, oh, why wait? Why wait? Why wait to come out? Why blah, 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 blah. One story said that somebody, that she was a 911 dispatcher and she received a call saying X, Y, Z some years ago so somebody called the police these things are very 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 hard to prove and you have to be willing to be open honest divulge all of your life to get convictions and even if you divulge all of your life to hopefully get somewhere you still could not get a conviction i just don't understand and i think that people also don't come out for various reasons i'm not a professional in this space but if this happened to me, I would not come on the internet and say it happened to me. I maybe would tell a friend, my family, maybe I would call the authorities. Maybe you don't know how you act if you were, if you have not gone through this. And people love to talk about things that they have not gone through and vilify those who have. 
I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? And again, I am extremely private. I don't really share much personal things on these platforms that I have. So this happened to me, y'all would not know. And that's just the honest truth. So if I said in 10 years, this happened to me when I was 25, da -da 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 -da, could you tell me, oh, well, you didn't share it on YouTube. You didn't share it, on, you didn't share it with the world, therefore it didn't happen. <sighs> Anyways. I also think that, again, we are so quick to defend people that we do not know. This man was in the chat in Clubhouse. Clubhouse is, is, is trash. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. <laughs> this man was talking in Clubhouse and he said that he has a very tight circle because the combo was like switching to like knowing your friends and like checking your homeboys and talking to your homeboys about you know their lives and what they're doing with women and you see your homeboy grabbing a girl's arm and she's drunk and she's da 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 speak up for that person which is all good advice I get it this man hopped up on the stage on Clubhouse and said that he has a very small circle and none of his friends would ever do XYZ I want to know how you know that people were like sir you have no idea what your friends do in their bedrooms and you don't we don't know what Tip and Tiny do. We don't know what anybody does. Unless you're in the bedroom with them. Okay? Cha. Pissing me off. So then... Again. If this happened to me, I would not feel comfortable telling the internet because the internet likes to drag people and give them a million and one questions about the situation and try to find a way to blame them. They will do anything they can to find a way to say, nah, 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 it's because you did da, 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 da. So let me get into real, real, really my opinion, which I know a lot of people won't agree with. I don't really care because what's wrong is wrong. From being in the clubhouse and, you know, reading things on Twitter and different like that, I think people just also don't understand <laughs> what consent is which to me is insane in 2021 to be grown and not understand what that is but let's talk about it okay um i could want and we also like to think that women should not be able to do what they want with their bodies right so i could meet let's make it somebody else let's make it a random person i could meet a local day county rapper and I could be like, oh, he's fine. Oh, I want to go home with him. Right? That's within my rights and within my, my rights. It's my life, right? And I could be down for X. Not X as in the pills, but like, I'd be down for A, right? But he could pull out something B, C, D, E, F, G. And I could be like, whoa, I am only okay with doing A. I'm only okay with that. You know what I'm saying? If this man was like, oh, okay, I hear you, that's cool, and now we're engaging in A, and this man pulls out B, C, D, F, G, that is assault. That is rape. I Just because I'm in your house or because I'm agreeing to X, Y, Z does not mean that you're able or that you're allowed or that you're right to do everything else to me. Because someone is a sex worker, because people in there were being paid for sex with them, or they were being, they were strippers, they're being paid to dance, or whatever the case is. Because I am a sex worker, because I am a stripper, because I wanted to have sex with T.I. and Tiny, period. Because I wanted to do these things does not then give them the right to do whatever they wanted once I get there. Again, if I don't want to take drugs, I don't have to. If I don't want to do a certain position or a certain anything, I don't have to. But these conversations be are at are coming from a place of you went there, you know what it's about, you know how they get down. Why would I know how they get down? Is it then okay for me to do things that I don't want to do? because I know how they get down. How do you know what I know? Because there are people that I personally know, and I do mean personal, like friends of mine, 
that have been with rappers and been with celebrities and have not been abused. So if she wanted to go and engage with this rapper and they had a good time, that is her right. Therefore, and if she engaged with that rapper and they had a bad time and he coerced her and raped her and drugged her up against her will, she's not wrong for going to the hotel to have a good time with that rapper. He is wrong for abusing her. And I think that we judge women so harshly for their choices and we don't judge men for abusing them and taking what they want from them. It's not fair. And I think I want to challenge everyone, including myself, just in case, you know what I'm saying, in the future, to not have so many questions and so many doubts just because you follow a celebrity online just because you like their music you guys you probably don't know a bigger ti fan than i used to be i was 12 years old i had every album that he had out at that moment i could to this day tell you every single word to the king album and i do mean every single word ad libs and all when I say fan, like fan from middle school. So I'm not talking about someone that doesn't know anything about him. I actually know probably everything about this man in terms of like what you can find on the internet. I was a childhood stan. <laughs> so, and, and if someone like myself who invested money and time into the brand that is Tip Harris, you know what I'm saying? knowing why he went from tip to ti like i was someone that was heavily involved in that brand and the pimp squad click brand in general okay so if i can understand the nuances and just the law and right from wrong in this scenario i think that other people should also be able to have grace with women that choose to engage in sexual acts with whomever they want and the facts that people don't have a right to then do what they want with the women's bodies because they came to their house. Me coming to your house gives you no right to do whatever you want. It gives you no right to give me drugs that I don't want to take. And if I'm passed out, it gives you no right to do what I want to do with my body. And for whatever reason, people don't understand that. And they think that assault can only be, you know, a forcible thing. It's not how this works. And as more stuff comes out, if more things come out, if things are proven to be false, if things are proven to be true, just give women grace. Because more women have been assaulted than you probably know. People in your life, people in your family, give people grace. Because when you hop on the internet and talk negatively about women in this situation, specifically with T.I. and Tiny, people that follow you that have been assaulted, people that know you personally that have been assaulted, that can be very triggering and offensive to people that you actually love and care about. So just watch your tone. You know, watch how you address these scenarios. You don't know these people. You don't know them. <laughs> At all. <laughs> and even if you did, it doesn't really matter doesn't change what could or could not have happened. So I'm pretty much done. My final form, makeup is done, hair is done. I'm feeling really cute. Um, but I definitely did want to encourage you guys to give women grace in these scenarios and stop acting like whatever you would do and how you would have moved would have been the right way and how they're moving is the wrong way. Some, you don't, you don't have any right to tell someone how or how not to act when they have been assaulted and that's just that on that um if you have watched this entire video and you and you have your opinions even if you disagree with me go ahead and comment we can have this conversation i'm not speaking as if this is a hundred percent fact this is obviously an alleged situation do i believe it yes but it doesn't mean that we have to argue about whether or not it's true because at the end of the day you can have your pain i can have mine if you choose to not believe it, that's also your choice. Like, it's not my business to tell you what to think, you know? But I do want to challenge everyone just to be nicer and to have grace and to watch what you say because you don't know. You just don't know. And if these things are true, 
for you to be bashing people on Twitter and on Clubhouse and wherever the case is on Instagram, in the comments in the shade room, whatever the case is, when you don't know, when you wasn't there, to me is absurd. And all the celebrities that are commenting in support of Tip and Tiny and whatever the case is, it's just ridiculous because y'all wasn't there. I don't know. Like, am I the only person? I just don't know why I would want to bat for somebody when I was not there. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed the little chit chat. Let me know your thoughts down below. And once again, all of the things that I used on my face today will be in the description box. See you guys on Wednesday. Thank you.